actually, you know, this is international. And yes. Everybody spoke both languages. So right. how do you see yourself in those huge Chinese community that you saw for your career? You know, I would, I would love to be, uh, to be involved in a, in a project like that. Mm -hmm. um, it would be an honor. Mm -hmm. It would be a blessing and definitely something that, that I could see myself doing. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, if, if they got the part that, that's a guy that, that I can portray, mm -hmm. then yeah, I would love that because I'd want to yeah. learn more about the culture and, mm -hmm. and the people and learning. I mean, I know I know some already today, but to be, yeah. you know, dived, dove mm -hmm. in and placed in that environment uh, would be pretty amazing, I think. I think oh, it'd be well. awesome. So I do notice uh, you were in the Vixen and Villains movie because of right. that, that bigger boss <laughs> <laughs> from Mexico yes. has to have a little bit accent like Spanish. You right. deliver it pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, okay, let me tell my Chinese audience first about okay. it so you can try. Sure. Um, 他们其实有最近在一部大的电影这部电影我是有跟他一起出演的叫《Vixen <笑> 我一看我觉得这个演员特别的专业和敬业因为没有导演提醒他他自己加了那个口音而且 I'm so curious can you just sure. deliver a few lines about in uh, some Spanish accent <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a Spanish accent but I, I think yeah. I just I shift into this uh, mm -hmm. this mode of, of a guy who's in control you mm -hmm. know and, and a guy who means business yeah. and I think it kind of takes on its own character yeah. if you will so mm -hmm. So like if I'm talking to you and we're about to do this this mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. you know, I might I might shift into let me tell you something to name. Mm -hmm. You're gonna ask me these questions and you're not gonna ask me these questions. Mm -hmm. Am I making myself clear? You know, so that's, <laughs> that's, that's just uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's guess, yeah, yeah, just like uh, you know, and it may come off come across as a little bit of a, an accent, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, it's just uh, I, I'm not doing it on purpose. Yeah. It's just one of those things where I believe that this guy is this mm -hmm. way, and yeah. when he says something, he means it. Yeah. He doesn't even have to uh, to yell mm -hmm. or to be like, "I need you to do it this way." It's more, it's just more like this is how it's going to yeah. be done, In you know. And it's just yeah. a little bit of subtleties I think mm -hmm. can go a long way yeah. in delivering a message that's that's stronger than than most. All right. I totally agree because in, we have a Chinese saying about if you are really powerful, you don't have to yell. Right. Yeah, right. so translate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so actually, in that character, um, in that role, mm -hmm. um, I believe uh, because I read the whole script, they right. have one thing is okay. Fam family always go the first. Right. Because he want to protect his niece. Uh, uh, cousin, uh, nephew. What was, nephew. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that that Mexican guy Arturo. was a robber for that role, mm -hmm. right? So so in your real life, and uh, so I believe you treat your family over the top list too. So would you share something about the? F family can be supporting for your career? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, family is, is everything for me, you mm -hmm. know. But in, in my mind, we're all trying to get to being successful, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. and then to me, like, okay, so if I'm thinking of a su successful actor, mm -hmm. if I were to define success, I think of like maybe Dwayne mm -hmm. The Rock Johnson, right? So, right. so he's at the, the highest level you can get, I think, for, for an actor, entertainer in this, in this business. And I said, if I ever got to that level, would that be success for me? Mm -hmm. And then I started, you know, kind of being honest with myself, right? Mm -hmm. I believe I've already achieved my, my success in my family. Mm -hmm. Because nothing I do from this point on in my life mm -hmm. will ever outdo the love and the passion that I have for my own family. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that, that's, that's the question that I ask myself. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, what is success? It's like... So what if I get to the rock, but if I get to the, to the rock level and I sacrifice my family in the process, mm -hmm. that to me is a complete failure for me. Mm -hmm. So so that's how important family is to me. It's like it's, 
I am living my dream right now mm -hmm. because I have my family. Wow. And, and I, I've achieved that goal. So everything else is bonus, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I want to be, uh, get to be the best version of myself in all aspects of my life, you know, yeah. from being a husband, uh, a dad, mm -hmm. uh, an employee, and <laughs> definitely an actor. Uh -huh. And so, so I want to continue to, to strive for those goals and, and mm -hmm. be, you know, maybe self-employed one day. I'm working for the corporate world right now, which I've been blessed to be able to support my family with. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'd love to be able to support my family as, a, as an actor too. Right. So, uh, so those are goals I still have, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not the goal. My, mm -hmm. my the goal is, is to continue running this race with my family mm -hmm. and, uh, and continue to live my faith as I as I raise my family. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> so, have ever your family questioned about you, your choice of being an actor? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's they're fair questions. You know, hey, Dad, what what are you doing this for? Or, mm -hmm. or my wife's like, you know, what, what do you want to go with this? And and I'm honest. I'm like, I'd I'd like to go all the way with this mm -hmm. if I could, you know. Yeah. And and I want to take you guys with me, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's just where I'm at. And it, hey, what if, about if you should say? I don't want to do the actor no more. <laughs> You're going to waste stop. I would probably, yeah, I probably oh. would. Um, <laughs> You yeah. know, but but I know. Okay, she, oh, pretend like she's in the watching. No, no. And the cool thing is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we love each other great, yeah. tremendously, and and I'm gonna respect her values and wishes and what mm -hmm. she's pursuing, and yeah. and she's doing the same for me in that right. regard. Mm -hmm. As long as I continue to walk walk my line and, mm -hmm. and honoring our marriage along yeah. the way, uh, you know, I think we're gonna be okay, mm -hmm. just like anything in life. Right. 那其实我刚刚在有提到这段有点长哈，就是他在那个呃呃呃角色当中有有一句台词就是说呃家庭总总是第一位的，所以我从这个地方问他，我说在他的职呃演艺生涯当中，他的家庭是不是跟他他很多的支持？呃，他的太太是不是有那个呃质疑他做这个行业哈？当他提到呃质疑会是有的，呃，可能很多对西方男的理解就是说哇，西方男人比较开放，如此等等。其实，在我看来，尤其现在有例子证明，他们是非常爱家庭、非常顾家的。他说，所有的事情都会是为家庭服务的，他不会为事业放弃家庭。就是如果有一天他太太跟他讲说，我不需要，我不想让你再做演员了，他应该会放弃。呃，当然这是一个男人他自己的选择，不代表所有。但是我觉得，嗯，这种对家庭的这种专一和和和疼爱，对太太的这种尊重，让我是会觉得是非常值得尊重的。Yeah, I think this is. Awesome. I think lots of women would love to have a husband like you, whatever. Oh. I'll tell you, don't do it. Okay, please. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's take, I, I taking a lot of training. Yeah, I believe <laughs> My that. My wife. <laughs> yeah, I believe your wife will all understand what you, because she loves you, she will support what you do. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, supposed absolutely. to be. That's why you will have a good relation. May I ask how many years? You got yeah, married? we've been married for 19 years. Wow. <laughs> this past March. So yeah. Is that been saying you're old? Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> well, we started. Uh, we've we've been best friends uh, for uh, what 24 years mm -hmm. now, and uh, so yeah, we we've been dating for a long time. Mm -hmm. Dated for five years, and then we got married, uh -huh. and uh, you know we had our first kid about within a year mm -hmm. after. So we we're supposed to wait three years, but you know our God had other plans, and so. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just been a great journey along okay. the way, and and definitely a huge part of of what I'm doing is for my family. So okay. I'm gonna spice you up. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm gonna spice you up by question. Okay. Okay, I'll leave you alone. That's <laughs> right. Hey, I was just trying to ask. I wanted to ask him some serious questions, but I was thinking, "Why is this guy so hard on his wife? I should have forgiven him." Um. Anyway, so. You know, actually, we have a Chinese way to say that to most successful men, they they will really love love the wife, and they are sometimes a little bit scared by their wives too, because that's how it makes them successful. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. Ah, I I don't know this saying, but it's like this phenomenon. I say that actually, in Chinese society, many successful men are afraid of their wives. This fear is not really fear, but it's a respect. We say 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 it's a respect. 好，那他其实是一个典型的美国怕老婆男人，反正他听不懂哈。<laughs> anyway, okay, I didn't make it fun. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> I mean, sure. this, this means you know, a real man they know what they want, they know what they is do the best for themselves for the family. Sure. And like you have you a plan for life, you know, 
what is most important to you. Right. And so how do you see yourself in the, in the next, in the future 10 years in this film uh, career? You know, I would hope that I am, uh, you know, a full-fledged full-time actor, mm -hmm. you know, working and supporting yeah. my family as, mm -hmm. as that actor. Hopefully in the next couple of years I start seeing that, mm -hmm. uh, that start happening and then continuing to take advantage of, of good opportunities and, yeah. and building, uh, building on each project. You know, mm -hmm. I they really do believe every year, every project uh, is a stepping stone for the next one mm -hmm. and, and continuing to, to get better and refine your skill. Mm -hmm. And so I think with that refinement and with the opportunities that you're presented, mm -hmm. uh, you'll naturally continue to grow into the role or into the, the career that you want, mm -hmm. so long as you hold yourself accountable to continuing to improve mm -hmm. and, uh, and then also taking on the right projects along the way. Mm -hmm. So I definitely see myself as a full-time actor. All right. Yeah. Um, you are very humble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks. I was asking him how he looked at the next 10 years. 之内的这个呃职业生涯，就影影影影视行业的职职业生涯，他说他会是希望呃能够变成呃全职的演员，呃，就是有一种人，他们是做一种事情就专于一种事情，而且他不会去东一下西一下，我觉得这是一个很好的品质，哎、呃，他会希望能就是说呃呃，会希望能更多的能够发展更多的项目，那就作为全职的演员来来来支持来来养家，呃，又是一个好男人的典范哈，但是我在想说。嗯，可能未来十年，呃，不知道会怎样，但是至少你有一个方向，就是应该朝那个方向去去前行。What about if in this ten years and if something doesn't go whatever you plan, or you drop off, or you change your plan? Absolutely, I, mm -hmm. I think you you need to um, be prepared yeah. for whatever. I mm -hmm. think you know you're not just one person that's one dimensional. I don't think anybody is. I think mm -hmm. we all have our gifts and our skills mm -hmm. and our talents yeah. uh, that you can use to make a living and to, to do what you need to do. And I, I believe, uh, you know, you, once you start doing what you love and you love what you do, mm -hmm. you're gonna better do it pretty well. Right. And so uh, things don't go according to plan, but you know, you, you have other skills. I have a mm -hmm. college education, you know, things I can fall back on. Uh, but I'll continue to I'll probably get back up, dust myself off, and, and keep pushing forward is, mm -hmm. is what my plan would be, which is kind of what I do now. Mm -hmm. So um, like we said in the future 10 years, so actually you've already been acting for so long. And so for now, if our audience are looking for what you do, so uh, you have a what kind of project. I know you have all the clips and uh, <laughs> uh, demo reel to share with the audience during our show already. So will you tell us a little bit more like a work you're looking for and to see your project, yeah? Yeah, work that I'm looking for? No, where oh. we can see your project. Oh, my projects, okay, yeah. great, yes. <laughs> So yeah, I do. I do have a Facebook page mm -hmm. uh, under Michael J. Rodriguez. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I'm on IMDb, so mm -hmm. the acting website under Michael J. Rodriguez. You, you can catch clips there. Mm -hmm. I have a Vimeo account, so mm -hmm. with videos there as well. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, I think as as films release, you'll be able to find stuff. There's mm -hmm. I have things on YouTube. Yeah. So it's all over the place. But usually, like if you follow my my Facebook page. Mm -hmm that's where I'll put links to, to where everything is at. You know, like this show, once, yeah, it, gets, once yeah. it airs, I'm gonna put a link to this show as right. well. So, mm -hmm. so I think uh, following me on Facebook is probably mm -hmm. the best way to do it. Yeah, Facebook is just like a kind of a, a, a key. So you open the door so they can sell all your information. Right, here. right. And I do believe, you know, those projects, if some kind of like a movie or TV episode, if it released already, people can see the YouTube links to find you. Right, yes. <laughs> and, it, and the plan is, you know, I'm, I'm considering uh, starting my own web page as mm -hmm. well. Uh, where I can contain everything, but yeah. I still think you need social media, yeah. like a uh, driving force to mm -hmm. drive people there as well. So it's mm -hmm. probably the only reason why I haven't started a website because I can just use a social media link mm -hmm. to link to everything. So. Okay. So, 大家其实如果说想要看到他的一些影视作品的话，他说首先你可以就是说去 follow 他的呃、uh, Facebook 他的脸书，然后呢就是呃、uh, 他但脸书只是一个一个渠道，然后你会找到他的 IMDB。也就是说是演员的一个履历表，上面会有很多他参演的一些影片，啊、呃，当然他用的都是他自己的本名在打屏幕上，为了避免我念错。<笑> OK， and so I just tell our audience how to to find you <笑>。Okay。And just make sure I will not spell wrong, so I tell my pro program manager just put it 
subtitle okay. that you need. Great, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, um, again, so back to the topic about uh, Hollywood to Houston. So um, if, you know, you know, as an actor, if it, how do you see the bigger view of Hollywood to Houston? Yeah. Uh, you know, I do believe that, uh, you know, people can can do a project here mm -hmm. in a in a Hollywood type mm -hmm. of format. I mm -hmm. think it really is up to the individuals running it. I think any like independent filmmaker, mm -hmm. it's critical for them to think of the film or project as uh, as a business mm -hmm. because so many times when you're working with independent filmmakers, mm -hmm. they forget the end, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, "Hey, what's your distribution strategy in this project?" and you ask them in the beginning, right. they look at you like a deer in headlights like, um, uh, well, I'm not sure and you know, or mm -hmm. uh, well, I might do some film festivals and you know, but what is your plan? What is the end result of this?" Right project that you're yeah, doing the investor want to see money come exactly out. <laughs> and so so uh, if the more people who start taking it from a business mindset mm -hmm. we you can turn houston into hollywood right. you know if you put together the right pieces you you yes. have uh, potential certain actors that people are drawn to mm -hmm. uh you have the right storyline you have uh, maybe a known cinematographer or a director mm -hmm. you bring that person in and then you you take that to the investors and say here's what we have and it's right. like Okay, cool. That sounds great. Yeah, let's do it. You know, and next thing you know, you got funding, and mm -hmm. now you got a Hollywood type project in Houston or in San Dallas or in one of the major cities here, Austin. Uh, you know, you have that happening, but but d you have to approach it from a business mindset, mm -hmm. not just a visionary or a dreamer or a creative type mindset. You got to take all that talent, couple it with the business side and then raise the bar to make it happen. Right, that's a great point. And also you will bring up the, the, the opinion about the independent film and uh, compare with the Hollywood film. And I do believe in last year, maybe five, 10 years, it's very popular with the independent film. And uh, that's why we have a lot of independent filmmakers and uh, just like it pops out. Right. So what do you think? You know, actually I, I do think in Houston, of course, mostly it's independent filmmakers. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the difference or beneficial from this both? Like an independent film or Hollywood? Versus Hollywood? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Hollywood is, is usually, uh, or just just a big budget film. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, they have the funds, you know, yeah. they, they're, they take it absolute business all the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I think Money that's, talks, right? yeah, <laughs> and, and then you wind up with a multi-million dollar yeah. type of project. Mm -hmm. uh, I think independent filmmaker can, can get to that level, like I said, if, if uh, they keep on with the, with the business mindset and, mm -hmm. um, you know, start any project with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. And if you do that with that mindset then you build everything up and you line it accordingly to reach that end mm -hmm. even if it's off a little bit even if yeah. you miss a mark mm -hmm. at least you still had your eye on the ball of what's what this thing going to do with when i'm done mm -hmm. and i have a distribution strategy i have a plan a marketing strategy i have a way to mm -hmm. get this out the door yep. and bring money to those who who maybe help support it and bring it on the give it to them on the back end and, right. and reward the people that help you get there mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. You know, and it, it's just, it's all relative. You know, you can have, do that with a small budget film. Mm -hmm. You can turn it into a big budget film. It just depends on which, what resources you have available to you. Mm -hmm. And I, the thing about Hollywood, I think the big budget films, th they use a certain group of folks over mm -hmm. and over again. Yeah. Uh, where independent film, you have lots of opportunities with folks who aren't being utilized as often. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also have an opportunity to, for someone to also grow and, and get better and to be well known and seen out there. Mm -hmm. The better we are at making independent films, we, we can really help grow people's careers in that right. regard. Um, 其实我在讲到这个好莱坞到休斯顿其实提到一个很好的话题就是说大家讲到好莱坞制作的这个可能都是大制作的影片那其实在最近的十来年吧都是独立电影其实这个发展是趋势势头是非常的强大这个也就是
可能作品的好与坏跟是否是好莱坞预算还是这个独立电影的预算没有最直接的关系。呃，很很显然嘛，好莱坞如果你有大把的钱砸的话，肯定是设备啊、人人力、资金什么都会好很多，都会是不同的方向。但是在你没有这种前提的前情况下的话，独立电影应该是更好的选择。Right, just like, like it's not everybody can put a project as a Hollywood level. Right. Or or the for bigger budget movie, they have some limitation too, and sure. like they would not go small places. And right. so for the independent one, in my opinion, I think it is fits more people like who has a dream. Right. Has, Some some independent film make it, actually have a great thoughts, great mind, and it、mm. makes great movies.、Mm. But just like you said, you have to do the marketing, you have yeah, to do the distribution, have to let people know it, right? Right, <laughs> right, and that, right. that's so important. Do you do you see yourself、um, gonna be a filmmaker or just an actor? No, I I see myself、uh, mm-hmm. getting into a production side of a、mm-hmm. film、uh, one day, and、uh, you know, because I, I have that mindset, that vision、mm-hmm. of of doing it. Uh, I just don't want to sacrifice, you know, the acting opportunities, you know,、mm-hmm. that are being presented to myself right now. Right.、Uh, but you know, if there's ever like、uh, a dry spot or, wh- or what have you, then I'll pull out some of my ideas and thoughts,、mm-hmm. and maybe start considering to pursue it because I want to see it to the end. I want to、mm-hmm. see it all the way through,、yeah. and not just get partial, partially of the way of the way through, and or maybe even have a way where I can do both,、mm-hmm. and and have the right people around me that are kind of helping to carry the torch while I may be flying out to do a project or doing something else.、Right. So. Right. But yeah, I do see myself doing it.、Mm-hmm. Also,、production. because、um, we do have a saying、uh, in Chinese, when somebody, you know, but it, it, it's um, this is the reality. In China, in China, it's lot of、uh, actors or actresses that depend on looking so much, or beautiful, or handsome, or、mm-hmm. do a surgery to make themselves look good. Right. <laughs> but that can keep their、uh, careers a little bit longer、uh, possible. But、uh, I do believe the talent inside. Like you can、right. see the character is better because、right. you know ages and time will change you looking. Yes. But the talent you have, it will only will gain, will not lose. Yes. So I like it this way. So a lot, a lot of this kind of、uh, actors or actress, they will one day they think they're not good looking no more. So they have to find a way to de- develop themselves, be a filmmaker. That's another way.、Mm-hmm. But we, in Chinese we call "yan er yu zhe dao," which means that you have a warning, but you looking, you don't take more project no more. So you want to. Behind. Got it. So, <coughs> in here we don't have this problem. You、mm-hmm. have sixty years, you seventy years. You still can take good good roles if you are good at what you do. Right. Right. So、um, I also believe like、uh, you gotta start somewhere.、It's、like you say, hey, I'm acting first because I'm good at it, and then one day I have all those prepared and ready.、Mm-hmm. I'm going forward to do something more、Absolutely. or bigger.、Mm-hmm. But that's what you. Next ten years, right? Yeah, that's years. <laughs> that's where I'm hoping to see myself at. And、yeah. I think when it comes to like looks and 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 what what draws people to to watching you on film,、mm-hmm. I think that's the beauty of of acting and in this type of career. You're we're portraying people, yeah, and everyday people,、right. you know. And the more honest we are with the portrayal of that person,、mm-hmm. then the more people are going to want to maybe watch and and hear the story that you have to tell.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so really doesn't to me. I mean, looks are, are important in certain aspects, but I really do believe,、yeah. as long as you're portraying a person that someone can possibly relate to or someone that's interesting,、mm-hmm. uh, you're going to be okay. You know,、okay. and that's why we have all shapes and sizes and types of actors out there that are very successful、right. uh, because we're portraying each other. Right. <laughs> so it's really all it is. So. All right. So the last question. <laughs> okay. You know, I always have question in my mind. I don't necessarily all write down. That's me. My, sure. I'm freelance. That's <laughs> great. And so,、um, because I know lots of people have dreams to success, successful like you, being a, a successful, success, successful actor or actress. So, for some people, they do have this kind of dreams, especially for for the young generation. Do you have a certain kind of suggestions? Yeah, absolutely.、Um, you know, I'd say if you're interested in acting,、uh, you know, look into it, pursue it. Maybe find a, a good acting coach,、mm-hmm. um, and、uh, you know, get referrals from folks. There's a lot of folks out there who might say, "I'm, I'm an acting coach," and、uh, you're not sure what kind of experience they had, or, or maybe they're they're on one project and they they kind of have that that they're they're hanging on to.、Uh, but you know, actors who've been in the business for some time, they know who the good coaches are out there who actually bring a value. Uh, to to the table for you to to kind of expand on,、uh, so definitely do that.、Um, you know, and again, it's that honesty thing, right? You, like I said, it, it's every career we under undertake 
you know, it might not be the best career for, for certain folks. And so mm -hmm. if you can be honest with yourself and, and look at your, your uh, production uh, from a set of on TV uh, and to kind of see like, man, did, did I do what I needed to do in that part? And if you realize you're having a difficult time and then you go to classes and you're still having a difficult time, you know, I'm not saying give up, but just kind of keep trying and keep recognizing. But but understand, you know, what is what is your gift? What is your talent? What is your, mm -hmm. you know, what, what do you have to, to be able to offer and expand on it? And, and I think connecting with the right people as well, you know, mm -hmm. good people in the industry who are going to look out for you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, caution with folks who just want to, you want to take your money or, you know, uh, if you don't know of a person and, and they're uh, asking you to come to an audition and you've already heard of them, they're an individual by themselves, not a business or no referrals from other mm -hmm. friends and probably steer clear of that, especially if you're younger mm -hmm. or, you know, female, you know, want to take a friend with you if you're kind of not sure oh, about wow. it. You know, do a background, check, check yeah. on people, be mm -hmm. careful because, you know, there are some folks who are yeah. ready to take advantage of you and of a situation. Yeah. And that's a reality of it. You know, not everybody's like that. And I think most people aren't, but there are those who are, and you want to be careful. Uh, so anyway, that's yeah, just me. Let me try to remember. Oh, sorry. I know. Yeah, yeah. I can repeat if I need to. <laughs> okay. Okay. 他提到了很多的建议可能是很多人都已经知道的一般的就是名演员不会提到的一个建议我觉得这个让我倒听的是我最关注最贴心的一块很显然其他的一些建议也是非常的有用我想如果是你对这个演艺事业有这种梦想还在的话我觉得刚才你上的十二十条建议都是